Dude, how you doing? Say, Gator Jones, listen, I need to report someone. Mr. Jones, oh my god, I can't leave the local celebrity voice. What can I do for you? <laughs> listen, so, um, I was just at the Yellow Jack getting me a good old drink. And, uh, I overheard the bouncer out front trying to sell drugs, and he was also in the bathroom for an extended period of time. When the hell did the yellow jacket bounce there? That's fancy. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's new. He ID'd me at the door. Uh, you uh, get a good description on this fella? Big beefy white guy. Are we talking like the Rock Johnson beefy? Or are we talking like the Blob beefy? Are we talking about like the Rock beefy? you happen to catch the fellow's name? Uh, no, he had kind of an accent to him, though. Like British, Australian, New Zealand, Something Alaska. Something like that, yeah. Got it, Mr. Jones. I'll uh, start the county's finest your way. Lovely. Gator Jones 2020 for sure. Gator Jones 2020. And now we wait. Maybe they'll send DTF over here. <laughs> uh, Cameron? Yeah? Snake Squeezer said he bets you stop. You stop streaming and jump in server based on the description of this guy alone. <laughs> or stops dispatching. No, because I know exactly who you're RPing as right now. <laughs> Alright, well, my cop is here. I gotta go. Okay. How's it going, sir? Good evening, miss. How's it going? It's going good. Uh, anything going on tonight out here? No, ma'am. We're just sitting here patrolling, making sure the boys are all over the up and up. Okay, uh, hey, because I got a uh, report that uh, people were selling drugs out of out of the Yellow Jack, so I'm just coming in here to investigate. Yeah, there ain't no way not on me on duty.
Oh, okay, I run a tight ship around here. There ain't no way they out here selling drugs with me on duty. Uh, you mind if I go in, take a look around? Absolutely, feel free. I'm gonna need your ID first, though. Um, I'm on official business, and I'm a law enforcement officer, so I don't believe I need to do that. Well, I don't give a damn. You can be 19 and be a cop. Doesn't mean you're over 21. Yes, but still being on official business here, I probably don't need to show my ID. All right, then. Go on. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be buying anything, so I'll be right back. Stranger things have happened with the BCSA. Thank you for uh, being cooperative with me. Uh, what's what's your name? I didn't ask it. I apologize. Name is Mac Perry, Miss. Nice to meet you. Uh, sorry. What was that? I had a I had the radio in my ear. Sorry. Yeah, the name is Mac Perry, as in Mickey D's Perry. Ah, okay. Mr. Perry, I'm Deputy Gibbs with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Normally, I'm down in the city, but I I decided to come up here. There seems to be a little bit more going on up here, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get some experience for. I got you. Yeah. Definitely seems to be more going on up this way than it is down in the city. Used to work down in the city. They had uh, tequila a lot. Wasn't ever jack shit happening. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you work out a lot? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Well, just with the way you're uh, built, that I figured you're either on something or you work out a lot. No. Mm -mm. This is all natural here. I mean, you, you sitting there staring, you like what you see? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm listening to the radio here. I'm trying to talk to you and do this investigation as well <laughs> as listen to any pertinent information coming over the radio. Well, if you ever need some backup, I'm your guy. Okay, well, give me just a moment here. I'm going to go back to my uh, cruiser here and I'll be out of the way shortly. Mia, you do your thing. My, oh my. Miss Joey, how's everything in here? You feel us behaving? All right.
Jesus. Gnarly ass turd in there. Man. Have a good night, Buford. Have a good one. Uh, why is there so many? Oh, traffic stop. Sirens all over the fucking place. Uh-oh, we may have a buyer. They have a couple buyers. Look at this guy, maybe he knows. <clears throat> hey, excuse me. Yeah, mate, what you need? Yeah, do you know where Red Robin lives? Red Robin, ain't that the name of a burger joint here in the U.S.? No, no, no it's the name of the person with the really nice breath. You see, oh, it, yeah, it I smells... Oh, yeah, I love his breath. It smells it, so good. Oh, yeah, it smells real nice. The fuck are you talking about? How much drugs did you took today? I don't oh, know what you're talking you know. about, mister. The fuck is a red robin? I've never seen a red robin before in my life. Well, maybe I've seen a red robin like a fucking bird, but I ain't seen no red robin dude. Hell no. Well, damn. Oh, well, his breath smells so good. It smells like strawberries and chocolate. And strawberries just dripped in chocolate. What kind of odd ass people goes around smelling other people's breath? You know what? If you had smelled it, you would know, okay? I'm going to go inside oh, yeah. and see He's if dead. anybody yeah, you, here you knows. smell that breath one day. Hey, buddy, I need your ID before you go in here. What What do you mean you need my ID? You got to be 21 to go in the bar. I need to know how old you are. 
out. Damn it. Hang on. Well, you should have asked for it beforehand. Well, a motherfucker went off in there while I was listening to you. Gonna need yours too, miss. Oh, shit. Sure. I, I don't know if I have it on me. Well, you better get your ass out of the bar. Well, well I, I just need it. Maybe I left it in his car one second. Now you better get your ass out of here. Well, she, I, I just gotta go get it from the car. ID. Oh, did, you didn't get mine? I didn't know if you had yours. Oh, here's the DTF, uh, I think. He, he, here it is. All right, much appreciated. Hey, Casey, uh, you want to step back over here by this bush? Yep. All right, let me see here. All right. So you're free to go. Enjoy your time in the bar. Thank you. All right, miss, go ahead and whip out yours. All right, let's see here. All right, look like you're over the age of 21. Have a good time. Thank you, sir. Uh, hey, do you know Red Robin? Yeah, his breath smells so good. Oh it shit, smells no like, over here. Oh shit, oh hi. It smells, it smells like, like roses do sometimes. Do any of you guys know where, where, yeah, do any of you guys know where Red Robin lives? Maybe no. sir, maybe you do sir. Maybe, do you know where Red Robin lives? Oh, one day you gotta go smell Red Robin's breath. Got none of these people know who Red Robin is. Let's let's go find someone else. Somebody gotta know who Red Robin is. Yeah. I know where Blue Robin lives. If y'all interested in any of that. Blue Robin? No, no, no. I don't they know, don't. Man. They don't have as good of a breath as Red Robin does. That it smells more like pizza. Got pizza some of that green good, robin it, too. No, know where he no, lives. It, it smells like pizza, but like eating like a day ago. No, no, we can only have the red robin's breath. Okay? Red robin's breath smells the best. The fuck are y'all talking about? They've already had something. See if I can't smoke a J. Yeah, they're gonna get over here before. Hey, what are you doing, bro? What's that, Mike? I said, what you doing, bro? Checking out the bar, making sure there ain't nobody hanging out behind a building, doing some jank okay. shit. Hang out, hang out right here for me. Yeah, mate. Chronics, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. It's going good. We're bar bouncing, selling drugs at the same time. Nobody's biting. 
They're looking for Red Rob anyway. Has good breath or something or another. I don't know what the fuck they were looking for. I think they were high. All right. Hello, you work here? Contractor Mike, ball bouncer. Oh, hang on. Anyways, you work here? Contractor mate, I'm a bar bouncer here. Miss Julie called me up, said she was having some trouble here, the yellow jacks. So I uh, come up from Los Santos to help her out. Okay, what kind of trouble is she having? Well, she says she's having some issues with some fights going on, some underage people getting in the door. Every now and again, got a meth head that shows up and starts trouble. Okay. Any of those meth heads show up tonight? Not to my knowledge, no. Okay. Has it been pretty busy through here? No, matter of fact, it's been dead tonight. You'd think it would be uh, rather lively with a stimulus check going through, but apparently not. Okay. <clears throat> What's your name, man? Yeah, mate, the name is Mac Perry. Mac Perry, you got ID to prove it? Certainly do. Alright. Got it over in my car, mate. Don't carry it on me while I'm on duty. Okay. Is that your car over there, that red one? Yeah, mate. It's a 90, uh, I believe it's a 96 Honda Civic, mate. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, she got good gas mileage on her. Is it over here on your driver's side? There you go, mate. You want to tell me you, you, you smoke and you're that fit, huh? Yeah, mate. Like I explained to this little Shayla here, it's uh, it's all natural, too. Okay. So you want to do me a favor? Uh, you want to walk inside with me and show me where your uh, office is or where you hang out the most or anything? Mate, I don't really have an office. I come in at dark and I leave at uh, dawn. Okay. Where, where do you take your breaks? Besides outside, do you go anywhere specific inside? No, well, I, I mean, I don't. I go inside. I make a round every now and again, but uh, I usually hang out at okay. the door right over here in front of this, uh, front of these boxes here on a smoke break. Okay, so you hang out over here by these boxes, you said. Right. Okay, hang on one second. You're going to, have to work for this one, Casey. We may drag this motherfucker out. All right, Chronics, have a good one. What, uh, what time did you say you came in tonight for your shift? It's usually about 6 or 7 in the evening whenever the sun goes down, and then I leave it uh, at dawn. Do you take uh, do you take a, a copy of any IDs of people that come through here? No, mate. We don't take copies. I just check the birth date on them, make sure they're good to go for letting them in the door. Do you remember seeing any uh, Gator, like a Gator Jones come through here at any point in time? Gator Jones, get oh the dude that's on the billboard running for fucking sheriff who <laughs> just so happens to be a goddamn felon. Uh yeah, he did roll through here a little bit ago. He uh went inside, talked to Miss Julie about some stuff. I don't know what they talked about. And then he left uh he was probably here roughly five minutes or so. I believe he did was he born with in sixty nine. Uh you know, I couldn't tell you. I didn't go into board at that time because, like I said, he was here for a very short period. Okay. Zach, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. You had any issues out of anybody else in the bar tonight? 
No, no, I ain't had any issues at anyone at the uh, in the bar here tonight. You got any weapons on you, Mr. Perry? No, mate, I ain't got any weapons on me. I was a, I mean, as as big as you are, I don't see why you would need any. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a walk through the inside really quick. Uh, just stay out here with this other deputy, okay? Yeah, mate, will do. Holy shit. Oh, hey, they're back. <laughs> yeah, they ran into that fucking tree, too. No, that's, that's their problem. Couldn't get enough of the old yellow jacket. Yeah, I need to ask no, this guy yeah. a question. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, yeah. do you know where Red Robin is? No, I have no clue. Probably up there oh, in the uh, Polito Forest somewhere. His smells so good. In the Polito... Uh, hang on, he, he actually gave us a place. We gotta go now. <laughs> Red Robin away! Damn, Tom, you already done for the night? They are an interesting pair. Yeah, if y'all looking for drug heads, I would, uh, point my nose in that fucking direction. Man, they just sound like two hillbillies that are into some weird things. Eh, but, maybe so. But we'll probably keep an eye on them. All right, Mr. Perry, it seems I have found some type of uh, narcotic residue inside the bathroom sink. You uh, wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, nah, mate. It's, it's been a little bit since I made a pass through there. Okay. Well, how long, how long do you think it's been since you've been back there? Oh, jeez, probably, uh, jeez, it was probably the last, uh, probably right after Mr. Jones had left and before them, uh, them two, uh, people showed up. So I would guess probably 20, 30 minutes ago, right? Okay. You said the two that were talking about Robin Hood or some shit like that? 
Yeah, it was before they first arrived. That the the uh, encounter you just had with them there was their second time coming. Um, okay. So it, uh, last time I made a pass through there, it was probably uh, f five minutes before uh, this pretty little jailer here arrived. Okay. <laughs> so it's been quite some time. So that uh, that meth or that narcotic residue back there in your sink is uh, relatively fresh. I don't know. I didn't smell anything on the inside or anything like that. I just happened to walk by the sink in the bathroom and see the residue in there. Yeah, well, I mean, this, this fucking place is myth heaven. There's a lot of myth heads hanging around. Thanks, Tom. Have you been inside subject. since uh, since this deputy has showed up? Oh, uh, shit. I, yeah, I believe I did. Because I followed the two that come by inside whenever. Because they first went in while I was on a smoke break. And they snuck in without me checking their ID. So I told them, hey, you got to go get your goddamn ID if you want in here. So they went and got their IDs. But I don't think I've been back in since then. But I didn't go okay. to the... Uh, where did you find it at? I found it in the bathroom. Yeah, I didn't go back there because I never left the main uh, main room there. Okay. But you said that they were coming out of the bar when the deputy showed up. Who was coming out of the bar? Those two that were looking for Robin Hood. You said when the deputy uh, showed up is when they were leaving. No, uh, they no, showed no, up no. shortly after I got okay. here. Yeah, okay. and then uh, shortly, and then they left, uh, like, shortly after, uh, or uh, short, hell, I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, they, they showed up, and then, uh, like, they, they come, and then... They, uh... All right, so the deputy was here already. She was uh, sitting in the parking lot there. They showed up the first time and went inside. I was on a smoke break at the time. And uh, I told them that they got to go get their fucking IDs. And so uh, they got their IDs. They checked their IDs. They left shortly before you rolled up. And then right after you got here, they showed up again. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Perry, do you know if there's any cameras on the inside of this building at all? I do not. I don't have access to the security system, and I've uh, never paid that much attention to it. All right. If you don't mind hanging out for uh, just a couple more minutes while I go check that out, okay? Absolutely. Hey, Miss Jelly, sun's up, darling. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and consider myself clocked out while I deal with these fine officers. i see you uh, probably night after next. Nice lady, Miss Jelly. Oh, I haven't uh, been in the bar too much. I don't drink, so I don't see much of a reason unless I get a call to come out here. Yeah, I got you. I don't drink myself. Used to dabble in cocaine, but cleaned myself up. Got me a job as a bouncer. Now I'm here. Living the dream. All right, well, I'm going to sit, uh, 698, I'm going to stay around. I'm going to gather up that residue out of the sink and get it, uh, put in evidence and everything else. Mr. Perry, I'm terribly sorry for wasting so much of your time here. I don't see any security cameras inside the building, so I won't be able to, uh. Hey, Ryan, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. more questions for you. So if 698 here has nothing else for you, I think you're free to go at this time. I appreciate all your cooperation, and I'm sorry again for wasting so much of your time, sir. Absolutely, mate. You're just doing your job. I completely uh, I don't understand have any, that. Uh, questions at this time, so. 
Okay. Yeah, 698, uh, you're, you're... What? Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Perry, uh, when I was... After, uh... Just before those, uh... That couple arrived, when I went in, talked to the bartender, and then I come back out. I got in my car. I happened to notice you wander inside. Uh, what were you doing when you wandered inside? <laughs> oh, did I wander inside before they showed up? Yes, sir. I, I watched you while I was doing some paper. Yo, Playboy. Oh. Uh, hey, we just got a call for 949. What's going on? Uh, uh, that call's been here since dispatch. Yeah. Just before dispatch left. The suspicious person? Yeah. It just dinged off for some of us. No, yeah, it's all clear, dude. We're good. All right, well, we just want to make sure y'all was good. We knew there was folks <laughs> here. <laughs> so, uh, hang on, hang on to it. Go ahead, go ahead with your answer, Mr. Perry. Yeah, I don't remember walking in there, but I could have. I uh, I don't remember going into the bathroom or into the uh, storage uh, area uh, room back there, but I could I have. Said anything about it? You so you could have walked back in the bathroom? No, I didn't walk in the bathroom or the storage room. That's what I'm saying. I was in the main room there. Mr. Perry, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't mind if I patted you down really quick, would you? I don't really see the reason for that. No, I don't. I don't approve. You don't, you don't approve of that? <laughs> no, I might not at all. Okay, well, see, I, I'm having a little bit of troubles <laughs> because you don't you don't remember walking in, but but you're guaranteeing that you did not at any point in time walk into that bathroom. I I mean, after she mentioned it, I, I remember walking in the uh, in the main room there to check and make sure there wasn't anybody brawling around. But I uh, but rarely go back to the bathroom or the storage area. Okay. But that's not what you said. When she said that, you said I don't. I don't rightly remember. So I'm just. I just didn't sure. remember at the time when she first mentioned it, you dick. I remembered after I'm she mentioned it. I'm not trying to be a dick, sir. I'm just trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put a puzzle together that you're that you're putting out there for me. See, you're giving me the pieces to the puzzle. I'm just trying to put them <laughs> together. I want to make sure I've got I've got everything covered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you, mate, but uh, you're barking up the wrong tree here. Uh, is that right? Yeah, mate. Why is that, sir? Because I'm fucking innocent, like I told this pretty little shale here earlier. I used to dabble in the coke. I used to dabble, uh, dabble in the powder, but I cleaned myself up. I'm a bouncer, and now I'm here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, man. That's that's all. Yeah, okay, so he's big as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he is pretty big. All right, Mr. Perry, again, I am so sorry for wasting so much of your time. I do appreciate all your cooperation, though. Yeah, mate, any time. I'm free to go. Uh, as long as 698 ain't got nothing else for you, yeah, you're free to go. No, I got nothing else. Lovely. Y'all have a great right, fucking Perry. day. Have a good night. Hey, 289, don't go nowhere yet. I ain't, I'm just going to my truck real quick, grab a smoke. That fuck. <laughs> I was barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was getting ready with the, the uh, taser. The taser for sure. <laughs> 